Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator. Now, I'm going to explain a few things here. I, um, number one is the Back by Populator Band. This is pretty much the only thing that people ask for on almost any of my videos. Um, is more Farming Simulator, so I decided to do a video of it. Now, I did start a new game. Obviously, you can see I have no money. Uh, well, I have money, the starting amount. Um, but, I'm playing this with my MOGA controller on my phone. And I still have my tablet, and I still have the game on my tablet, but the, uh, how do you, uh, sorry, okay, I didn't know how to reset the camera with the controller, um, I still have the, f the game on my tablet and everything, I still have my tablet, the only problem is, like I've said before on my channel, I have a cheap $90 tablet, and, uh, the screen broke, I dropped it, uh, my son woke up. I was in a hurry, I put it down, and it fell off my entertainment center, and the screen broke, and it does not work at all. I mean, the screen doesn't work at all. It, the tablet will turn on, it runs fine, I'm sure everything will still work, it's just the screen won't work while cracked. I have to order a new screen, and then when I get that on, hopefully it'll work. Um, it's only going to run me about 10 bucks, and then I actually have to take it apart, do the whole screen repair thing. And then I'll be able to go back to that unless people want me to continue doing this. But also, I can't use the controller with my tablet. I think I used, said that on my last video, if you watched it. So, uh, yeah, that's my situation right now. Um, the reason I haven't been doing videos, before, like I said, I was busy. I had been promoted to supervisor, <laughs> and that turned out to be hell. So, well, I'm just going to get going on uh, doing this. So, um... So I'm playing this with my controller now, obviously you can see I'm not, I'm moving forward, but I'm not using this thing, even though I still can do that. Um, I've played this with my controller before, it, I just flashed a new ROM, um, which I actually can't talk about, I'm actually kind of testing it right now as we speak. And it's one of the fastest, smoothest ROMs I've ever run, I'm still only running at 10 frames a second, but I believe I can push up to 20, 20 21 frames a second. With this current ROM, probably when it's done. I mean, this is a beta, and it is beasting right now. Some of the best benchmark scores I've ever seen. So, that's why I decided to do this, but I can't really talk about the ROM itself, even though most of you probably don't have a resound or, you know. But, I mean, this guy's a great guy for even, and I can't mention him either. Um, <laughs> this guy's a great guy for continuing to develop for this phone. He was telling everybody he was gone, and that he's not only done making ROMs and stuff and trying for the phone itself, but he said he was going to back out of the... Oh, forgot about that. He said he was... uh, How do you do that? Oh, oh that was easy. He said he's backing out of the whole um, Android scene and not going to be doing ROMs or anything anymore. So when he asked me about this, I was kind of surprised and also very, very excited because um, it's the new Jelly Bean version uh Android 4.3, so we'll see how well that goes. But it is pretty awesome so far. Um, the only problem with this current ROM so far, like I said, it's still a beta. It, he's just, you know, he let me try it out, which I'm very thankful for. Um, and that I'm getting to use it to do this because it's working really well. Not very, I mean, the video is only going to be 10 frames a second, but usually when I'm doing any kind of recording, it, it oh, that's right. Forgot about that. It is lag, lag, lag for me playing this game, or any game for that matter. But so far, at least on this game, um, it is not laggy for me at all. It is running extremely well. Oh my gosh. Um, so I think I'm gonna try Shadow Gun. Um, Everland, the game I was playing before, where actually the developer has commented on my video. I think I only put up two videos. Before I got the game over, because you only get so many pl tries for the playthrough. And, um, I got spanked by a boss, and the dev commented and was like, you know, you gotta use uh, everything there for ya. So, I'm gonna try it again. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes pretty well. Because I really, really like that game, and I haven't played it in a while. I've actually been playing this one game constantly, which I was going to make videos on, but I decided against trying to back away from that game. I'm not even going to bring it up. 
because I kind of just disappeared from it, and it's a multiplayer online game, and I'm sure a few people are going to be kind of disappointed on that. The guy who got me into the game, though, Mr. Hood, you are uh, not playing it anymore either, so at least as far as I know, unless you're on another server, so as far as I know, I don't really care, because that's pretty much what I went there for, to play with play a game with him, and I still game with him every once in a great while. Um, one of us was like, hey, what are you doing, you want to play this game? Yeah, sure, why not? And, uh, we've done that. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, right. Jeez. It's been a while since I've played this or anything for that matter. Um, other than that other stupid game. I did start playing this game. I mean, it's more or less a time killer. But it's pretty fun, uh, called, uh, Auralux or something like that. Also, the Ty found it because it's compatible with this game controller, but it's not, like... It's, it's a strategy game. It's pretty cool. Takes some thinking. I like it. Um, but also, but also too, back to the screen crack thing, the tablet with screen crack, my phone screen is also cracked. <laughs> uh, so I need to replace that as well, because I don't have the money to uh, get a new one. A new anything, really. So that's why I have to replace all the parts. I actually just did one on one of my old phones that had a cracked screen that I had lying around. I didn't order the screen. My girlfriend, um, it was both of our first... Oh, there we go. I'm trying to get rid of that stupid thing. Pain. Oops. I always hit the... Like, I keep thinking the square button's gonna be, um, reverse, but it's not. Or, where the square would, button would be on a PlayStation. It's the X button on this. It's kind of like a... NES controller setup, I guess, old school thing, maybe, I mean, it looks like an Xbox controller, this MOGA Pro thing, but I keep hitting that, and that's to put stuff, like, this thing down, like, this is hitting that square button, or X button, whatever, I'm used to PlayStation, so I keep calling it square, so that does that, and then the B button, which would be circle, usually, is actually reverse, so, I keep getting thrown off on that. I don't mind harvesting. I hate doing this guy's job, so I am not going to do it. Um, I only get these two fields to start with, right? No, I get three to start with. So I get this one. This one just needs to be seeded. Which sucks, because you only start off with the one tractor. But I'm going to go around and get all these stupid things out of the way. Um, yeah. Forgot what I was talking about before this. Oh, I fixed the uh, other screen for the old phone that me and my girlfriend both have, the uh, Droid X. Um, not the new X that either just came out or is coming out, but the new X is does look pretty cool. But this was the old one, so maybe what's the prices look like when waiting on this guy? We at the end corner run. And canola 37 seconds. I'm not gonna make it there. Grr. Alright, whatever. Should uh realize that before that would have been a great bargain right at the beginning. Mm. But um, anyways, yeah, the whole job thing. No, not with this thing. The whole job thing. That was an interesting situation where I've been at this place, with the company at least, almost 10 years. I moved into the warehouses. It's a small business chain. I'm not going to mention it. Number one, it's against policy. Number two, I'm about to talk about my job, which kind of sucks. And as long as I keep it as nobody knows who I am or my name or anything, I should be fine talking about my job. Um, but so, I worked this place almost 10 years. Uh, I went, like, it'll be 10 years at next year, I think, so I think, so died years this summer is what it was, so, um, I freaking bounced around a lot once I got to the warehouse, I was a selector for a couple years, they don't, I mean, nobody really selects for a long time, it's either you move on, or you get another job or something, it's, it's a physical job, it's, could be rough, you know what I mean, but, uh, you know, almost every job in the place is physical, um, but I went from there, and I became a lift operator, which is a little less work, a little more money. Um, but you drove a big, heavy piece of equipment. 
and like move thousands of pounds worth of stuff around and also thousands of dollars and um all right might as well uh how do you can i not shut him off from here um anyways but so i did that for a while i loaded trucks for a while yeah no apparently you can't can't uh make him stop driving from there load trucks for a while and then i was on night crew i was on night crew about a year maybe a little more give or take right and then um a lot of things have been going downhill kind of lately i feel like but they needed a new supervisor and trust me this is the first time this has ever happened where they asked me to be supervisor and uh i said yes and i did it you know it was a little more money less work and i got off of nights i had to go to nights when i had my son originally but uh <laughs> that did not work out well like it was rough i mean it was the only way it was gonna work to for us to be able to watch our kid and both be with them and not have to pay for daycare that was like what we were trying to avoid but uh so did that for a year and a half they asked me to become supervisor and, i mean in that time a lot of stuff happened but this this is one of the worst things that's ever happened to me at work so i'm supervisor um i came in with the one that went before me stepped down um because like i mean it's a rough job and trust me you'll hear why they uh so he wanted to step down like and um he went back to selecting uh in a different area not this area this is the biggest area we have the most guys in um he went to a different uh department pretty much of selection in the warehouse and uh i became supervisor and Corn. I'm not going to waste my corn until it goes up higher. So then, like I said, I'm supervisor. I just, I don't even know how to begin how this all came about. But, um, like, it's hard to control a group of guys, and, like, they weren't doing a good job, and it wasn't just him. There's two of them. There's two supervisors, and, you know, they weren't working well together, and the one blamed everything on the other, you know what I mean? Well, both of them, you know what I mean? And, um... The one I ended up working with, trust me, I didn't think I was even going to end up working with this one. I thought the other one was being moved. No names were mentioned when they asked me about it, and I didn't ask names. I thought I knew, but I didn't. So I ended up working with a guy that, I mean, he's a good guy, but he just didn't really, doesn't really care that much. I mean, neither of them did. I mean, I don't know how I came to the conclusion either now that I think about it that I was going to be working with this guy. When, I mean, it, could've, it really could have went either way. Um... But I'm sure the guy who got stepped down took a pay cut, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be. <laughs> There's a hint at what happened. Um, but so anyways, and I've been there a long time. I've done a lot of stuff for them. And, you know, they tell me all the time, they, and I believe them, obviously, especially now. Like how much they like me and blah, 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 blah. Any other crap, however you want to put it. Um, that one just needs to be seated, so I just need to do this one. So, I don't even remember where I was or how I was going to go about this. I had it in my head, but I keep getting sidetracked. And I'm sorry if you can hear all this button clicking, too. Um, I'm going to do this. Anyway. What was I saying? Anyways, so, new guy. Not bad. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but anyway, so it's rough controlling these guys. And it's a warehouse. It's a, yeah. I'll save. I'm just gonna go with this video. Uh, I was thinking, just thinking for a second. I'm gonna get rid of this, but I'm gonna get back on track and try to not be an idiot. So they freaking um. It's hard to do. Not gonna lie. But they put me in the position, and they told me, and they told everybody when I was put in this position that. I'm coming in, and I'm going to be the bulldog, and people are going to start getting disciplined and held accountable, which is what we were doing, And but there was always a problem with a few people, you know what I mean? Those, a couple people who seemed to never get in trouble, well, he, I, tr he's a supervisor, my butt, um, try as I might, you can never get a couple of these guys in trouble, they don't, you know, you bring it to the attention of the upper management, because if we took it in our own hands, it was a problem. And all talk to them, and nothing ever got put on file for these guys, no matter what they would do. And they would be good for a little while, maybe a week, two. 
and then they'd go right back to their shenanigans, you know what I mean? Um, and normally, you know, we let people screw around, we got no problem with that, but the work wasn't getting done. If the work's not getting done, there is no time for horsing around, period. You know what I mean? That was the problem. Before, when I was doing it, and when a couple of the other guys were doing it, or the people that have actually have been selecting for a long time, like I said, not a lot of people last that long. They either get moved on, or they quit, or something, you know, get fired. A lot of stuff can happen. Um, damn, I lost my train of thought again. Oh, yeah. So, um, we used to, we used to play basketball all the time, football, we'd go outside, hang out, you know, we'd be able to do other stuff as long as we got it, because we had a set amount of work to do, and if we got it done, we could do it. If it's not done, we stay late, and stuff wasn't getting done, and we were staying late all the time. Not a way to run a business. So, back to where I was going. Um, so, you know, we argue a lot, and... Especially with those two. So, like, we had this thing, you know, one of them always told me we had a love-hate relationship. And that, uh, you know, we had we went back and forth a lot and nobody ever really got in trouble. And, like I said, I was the supervisor. And any time I actually tried to get something on paper with this guy, it never fell through. Ever. No matter what I brought to anybody's attention. So, eventually, we ended up stopped. We stopped even trying, for the most part, on getting a few of these guys in trouble. Because no matter what happened nothing happened so why we uh pretty much let it go because they were gonna so why would we even bother anymore you know what i mean so um what we're doing one night they both and usually these two they get i mean they just pull out of shenanigans but they worked hard um but one one of them didn't fell way below production was acting like an asshole all day um just running his mouth, he always ran his mouth, always had something to say, called people a lot of names, a lot of really bad names, you know what I mean, and like I said, we just let it go, and I started giving it back to him, and that was the love-hate relationship, and that we just, you know, when he was working, I loved him, and when he wasn't, we went back and forth, and that's just how it worked, whatever, so, uh, one day, fell below production, this was like a few weeks ago, um, and at the end of the night, we were trying to uh, get him to go do his aisle. And like I said, the other guy, he never really, they blamed it each other that nothing was happening. And I was sitting there and I was telling this guy to go do his aisle and to get out of my office and to stop acting like a douchebag. I don't know. I told him I didn't know what the fuck his problem was. Uh, I don't know. We went, we had a lot of words exchanged that night in particular. So, uh, I come in the next day and my boss brings me to the office halfway through the shift. And they ended up sending me home because this kid did not like the way I was treating him. <laughs> and I almost, I seriously almost lost my job. Um, because for a long time I tried to be nice to the guy and I, he just, I just got sick of him, you know what I mean? And <laughs> he didn't like that I called him a douchebag, even though he's probably called everybody in the building a douchebag. And I kid you not, or a faggot or something else, you know what I mean? Um... Honestly, <laughs> this kid is, like, screwed up. Um, so, and it's one thing when you, we go to our boss, you know, we, uh, I've we said shit to my boss. Probably, like, the same shit, like, sometimes when we get into it, like, why are you being a douchebag? And he's like, dude, it's just the way it is, you know what I mean? He's like, I'll try to explain something, you know. But this kid did more than that. He filed, like, a complaint against me with the company, blah, blah, blah. And... <laughs> And it turned into a big mess. And it, if these guys didn't like me, and if the rest of my crew, there's about 20 guys, and it was these two, mostly one, like one of them was just like saying, you know, you guys need to talk to him, blah, blah, blah. I don't like the way he treats me. Da, da, da. Even though he was the one who never gets in trouble and acts like that towards everybody. But the other one was like, nah, I want to file a formal complaint against him, blah, 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 blah. So that's what they did. Even though if, like... I was allowed to do my job, I would seriously, could have fired the, both of them by now, probably multiple times if they were different people, um, which is what really gets me, and, um, and I understand my boss, my, like my whole, my level directly above me, there's 
three of them, you know, they have different forms of jobs, but, um, they all pretty much fought for me and the rest of my crew did because they were bringing up stuff too. Cause like I said, we joke around, we have back and forths. They brought up stuff I had said to other people that was none of their business. They had just overheard. And those, those are some of the worst things because I, I am not going to lie. I'm a white dude. I work with Puerto Ricans, black guys, blah, blah, blah. We get racist sometimes. Not going to lie. It happens. We screw around. We get racist. And I've said some fucked up shit to people. Okay. And so they were bringing stuff like that up. And all these guys were like, seriously, this is what these guys are doing. Everybody is like pissed at them. Everybody fought for me to keep my job. And it was pretty fucking awesome. But it was just a ridiculous situation to be put in. And (laughs) I did not. I was, like, not right in the head for a, quite a while. I was, like, really fucked up. Like, I couldn't believe it. And, like, the way it was going down, I was sitting there like, I'm about to get fired because of this little piss ant who's been there about a year and a half. And I've been here almost 10 years for this crap when I've tried. And, like, this is, like, when the my direct level boss, one of them, one of the three, I doubt he ever told the guy above him because anytime I brought stuff to him, it like more would happen. But like, you know, he didn't really have time to deal with it. You know what I mean? So the kid always had that one safety net right fucking above me. And I don't I never knew why we never figured it out. Like why he never got in trouble and why I cared. And like when they read my statement about some of the stuff that was going on, because I told I told them I was like, dude, I told him I was like, dude, they're going to ask me stuff. I was like, if I go upstairs and they freaking ask me about my statement and half the stuff I put in there and why the kid was never in trouble about it, we're, I'm telling him your name. And I guarantee freaking to you, other people will too. So, <laughs> just saying, bro. You know what I mean? And I told that to my other boss, too, the one who was above him. And it was just an interesting situation. And I never had to talk to anybody upstairs. They put on this, they told me that they all fought for me, and my most of my crew fought for me. Some of the newer guys didn't really have anything to do with it. Um, I mean, they were questioned, but I haven't been that direct with them yet because I don't really know if I should be. And uh, so that's just the way it happened. I wonder if that was my phone or... Hmm. I heard something. But it wasn't on my computer. But it was just an interesting situation to be in. And I don't know how long this guy's been sitting here because I haven't even been looking. I've been talking. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Granola at the end. I'll still wait, I guess. I don't really need cash right now. But, yeah. Definitely a f- screwed up situation to be in for my job. Um hitting the wrong button again but uh i think i'm gonna ha- do a couple other things after i end this video which i'm gonna do very shortly uh, in a couple minutes because it's probably gonna be very long and i'm very very sorry about talking about me but it needed to be done I stop the clicking again um but yeah it was very interesting situation to be in um but like, so now, they're act. They're, they're, I guess um, the day I left, everybody's telling me like the stuff they were doing and stuff people were saying. Like I'm hearing all different kinds of stuff now that I'm back at work. Like I said, I still have my job and I'm back at work. I was suspended, and you know what I mean. Like it was, I was in heavy, heavy, deep crap right there. Um, but everybody like kind of fessed up to be. I'm like, you know, we all do it. And this, this, that, and the other thing. And those guys really are screwed up. And, you know. But, like I said, I don't ever know what happened. Because I think that my direct bosses has probably gotten just as much trouble as me over this type of stuff. Because, like I said, I pretty much blackmailed one of them. (laughs) And it was just, like, screwed up. Um. Yeah. It was interesting. But they're telling me all this stuff. Like, these guys came out at lunch, like the day I left, and they're like, oh, where's the asshole at, oh, that's right, we got rid of him, blah, 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 and everybody, and I guess this one dude was like, dude, 
a couple of us seriously looked at them like they were fucking stupid and told them to go, like, go get their McDonald's and shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I just, I'm like sitting there and I'm laughing. And I had like three or four people tell me this story. So this is one of the ones I know is true. When I hear it from like one or two people, especially a few of the people I know are probably lying out their asses just to, you know, whatever. But a couple of the stories are just pretty funny. Um, like about, like, because the guy with me too, they tried to act like we never told him stuff. And like, we, like I said, we stopped telling him stuff about Tony, but we still brought him stuff. And we, and like, that was another thing we had said was like, we were bringing you stuff. You just never did nothing about it. So we stopped. What do you want? You know what I mean? And he kind of like, just shut up and like, you know, like how many times have you protected these guys for what reason you want to tell us? Or do you want to tell freaking resources? You know what I mean? Human resources or whatever the hell they're called. Good times. But yeah, it was interesting. But now I'm back at work. They were very surprised because I got when I got there. If I'm on a thing where like if I do one thing wrong, I'm gone. No matter what it is, I could look at someone wrong and probably end up getting fired. But like, so my boss told me like you need to watch your ass. Da 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 da. This that the other thing. Um, if you need a vent, come to us. And um. I thought I was going to get demoted, and they were like, no, you can keep your job if you want it, and I was like, no, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> if you're not going to demote me, I'm going to demote my damn self, so <laughs> either way. Uh, I thought it was funny. Um, I have no experience. Uh, no, that's probably for the best, but, you know, we weren't going to demote you. And, yeah, which was very, very interesting. But hey, I'll take it. Still got my job. Um, I almost, I was thinking about it too. I was like, I should stay supervisor and actually get these guys far because there's no way they can hide from me now. But then that would just look terrible also. So I was just like, nah. I'll take a state step back. Um, I think we're pretty much going to create a position for me to do whatever the hell I want because it would have happened too. Like, because I kind of told, like, I don't know. We, I mean, we've had this position before, don't get me wrong. And with the holidays coming, that's usually when we make the position anyways. And then, like, you know, there's always position changes where I am, so it's weird. But very, very, very interesting. Say it again. Um, well, this is where I'm going to end it because I don't know what else to say and how jumbled I got and how long this video is going to be. So if you even made it this far, I guess I'd like to thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, and like I said, I'm going to do some other stuff, so there'll be more done next time, hopefully more to do. Um, so it's not just me rambling on like a fool and losing my train of thought with nothing to do. Um, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. That's right. No. Again, I look like a fool. Have a good one, guys.